Hi guys, this is Pete, N6QW, and we're going to run the first test here of the new Spider Beam Mast. Uh, I have it guide, and I've reinstalled my uh, dipole antenna, uh, which will give me the opportunity to operate uh, 75 and 40 meters, and when I get the beam mounted on the top of the mast there, uh, we'll be able to operate uh, 80, 40, 20, uh, 15, and 10. So I'm going to try um, doing a little rotating this and see if it holds up. Yeah, it's rotating. Wow, oh, cool. It's now north, and I'm watching the base. Okay, now I'm rotating around the other way. Yeah, you look at the base, you can see the base rotating. Look at the anchor bolts, or the U-bolts on the base. And you'll see the whole mast assembly is rotating. coming around I'll be damned And it's north. Now, what it is, is that's north. And so the thing is, um, in order to set the, the, actually make the install, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to face it 255 degrees because the beam will, f the uh, beam elements will fit, the chimney will fit between the beam elements. And uh, that's the way I've got to install it at the top part of the mast. When, when I lower the mast and then put the beam there, but then once I elevate it, uh, then we'll be in a position to uh, rotate it around. But I had to calculate, I had to get a compass and see which direction was north. And once I determined which direction was north, uh, then um, what I had to do is add 180 to that. Uh, so this way it would uh, be lined up so that when I turn, when I actually turn it to north, it, it'll be in the north position. Okay, so here I am. Look at the uh, look at the U bolts on the base, on the base of the rotating tower, and you'll see that that's going around. Yeah, moving pretty smooth. So I made that house bracket special house bracket to provide a little more support and that will be useful to us when we actually so there we are and then when I put the beam on the mast I'll be able to uh, rotate it uh, around to north so uh, so this is good. Now look at the base there. You'll see a bolt assembly uh, just above uh, the dark part of the rotator base. And that means that has to be pointing uh, in, in this direction to me. So that's kind of an index mark to let me know that it's in the right place. So let's, uh, let's turn that back around. And you can see the base. And it's not catching or binding or anything. And it looks like the guys are, are all pretty good. I was able to... Uh, use my fence here around the house uh, to install the guys so I didn't have to put anything on the house I was worried about putting big old u-bolts or uh, anchor bolts into the fascia and I don't have to do that okay so we're turning around now turning around turning around turning around and we're coming around and pretty soon and that position will be north now my only problem is is I've got to figure out how to uh,
I'm going to have to figure out how to um, get the beam up on the roof. And, and I can tell just lifting the mast myself is, is quite an effort. So I'm going to have to get some help. At least one person lifting the sections up and another one uh, uh, attaching the cable clamps to it. Uh, but otherwise, it would be pretty onerous to try to do this with one person. Uh, very, very difficult to uh, to do. So, anyway, uh, we're going to put it back here to 255. And there we go. Cool. So, we're in pretty good shape. So, anyway, this is Pete, and 6 qw And you just seen the rotating mass. So, um... Thank you very much for watching this YouTube video, and I think we have a successful install. doesn't look like the mast is binding or anything, and uh, with the beam up there, it should be pretty solid. So uh, this is N6QW signing off.